Well, good morning, kids. My name is Pam. I'm a grandma of four little ones, and so I read to them a lot. They're very special to me. And I want to read a story to you this morning. It's called Frankenstein Doesn't Wear Earmuffs. So here we go. This book is by John Lauren, and he also illustrated it. It's really scary. Frankenstein doesn't wear earmuffs. See the pictures? He's in the dungeon. Upon a haunted Halloween, in deepest dungeon lair, awakens monstrous Frankenstein to give you all a scare. See, he's this big shadow over here. Oh, here he is too, beneath a grim and ghostly sky, the moon alight with fright. Frankenstein emerges on a dark and stormy night. Hold it! Not so fast there, Frankenstein. These clouds are looking iffy. So take my old galoshes here. They're waterproof and spiffy. Dad's galoshes are not so spiffy. Here he goes in his galoshes, in great red and floppy boots that just don't fit him right. Frankenstein emerges on a dark and stormy night. Hang on. It's getting pretty chilly out. You'll need to see, you'll need some warmer gear. So take a scarf and parka, please, and stick there these on your ears. See, there's a mom saying, here's your earmuffs. So here he trudges in giant red and floppy boots with earmuffs way too bright. Frankenstein emerges on a dark and stormy. Hey, wait, somebody else is calling. Whoops. One more thing you better bring. You'll thank us later, champ. It's mighty dark outside tonight, so take my camping lamp. Just a moment, this won't do. Your pail's not up to snuff. Try the spacious fanny pack to carry all your stuff. Like batteries and extra snacks. Uh, you can't be too prepared. A roll of tape for stuff that breaks. Reflective underwear. And don't forget before you go to snag a wholesome snack. These crunchy nuts and raisins are the perfect thing to pack. In giant red and floppy boots with earmuffs way too bright, a puffy orange parka and a heavy camping white and smelly socks and a, okay, that's it. Frankenstein doesn't wear earmuffs. See, he's just throwing them all away. He's not going to do this. Roar! There's no dungeon that can hold him. Your earmuffs are not to use. For Halloween began at last, and Frankenstein is loose. But the wind is really, really whipping. It's pretty dark and foggy. His frank and tummy grumbling. His shoes are getting soggy. It's raining, it's wet. His shoes are soggy. Ooh. Here he is, he's, he's upset. Now his ears are feeling frosty and he starts to frank and think that maybe this year's Halloween will really frank and stink. Hi, hey, hello there, hi. Look, the witch has woolly mittens and the werewolf's got a sweater. The ghosts are, are, have fuzzy hats on. You see them all over here? They won't, their mom got them too. They're all dressed up for the pool. The ghosts have fuzzy hats on and he feels a little better. Here they are in all their paraphernalia just really staying warm. 
but they're out to Halloween too. And here they are, he's, here's his parents with the lamb and the earmuffs. And he's thinking, well, let's see. Can't turn the page. And here they are again. Somebody, he's got his, his boots on and his earmuffs. And so Frankenstein wore earmuffs on that night so grim and ghostly. And dark and stormy Halloween was pretty warm and toasty. That was a fun story. Here they are at the end. See, they're all just laughing and playing and they're having a good time. And I hope you have a really good time with your Halloween celebration. Stay safe, stay warm, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.